A musician in Nigeria's northern state of Kano has been sentenced to death by hanging for blaspheming against Prophet Muhammad. An upper Sharia court in the Hausawa Filin hockey area of the state said Yahya Sharif Aminu was guilty of committing blasphemy for a song he circulated via WhatsApp in March. Mr. Sharif Aminu did not deny the charges. Justice Kadi Ali Mohamed Kani said he could appeal against the verdict. States across Muslim-majority northern Nigeria use both secular law and Sharia law, which does not appear, uh, apply rather to non-Muslims. Only one of the death sentences passed by Nigeria's Sharia courts has been carried out since they were reintroduced in 1999. And joining us live is uh, Pamela Okoroigwe, a legal defense assistant uh, with, the, of course, the lead app. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Can you explain this penal code practiced in the north where someone posting alleged uh, blasphemous posts on WhatsApp can get a life sentence? Um, life sentence? You mean death penalty? <laughs> okay, so for the purposes of our viewers, I would like to begin by saying that um, Nigeria has three major penal legislati legislations coexisting. So we have the penal code, we have the criminal code, we have the Sharia code. And this, and this legal system establishes offenses and punishments depending on the states in which they are applied. So um, the criminal code applies to the southern parts of Nigeria. The penal code applies to the northern parts. And then the Sharia penal code is applicable in 12 states who have actually introduced this code. Yeah. So the, the Sharia penal code is based on the Holy Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Um, in states where this Sharia court is being enforced today, there appears to be an obvious conflict between the penal code and the Sharia code. So we see offenses like blasphemy being um, prescribed the death penalty. All right. I, I want to know, um, he has 30 days to appeal the judgment. Do you think uh, the grand, uh, ground norm of the Constitution, can it be used to set aside this judgment? Well, in my opinion, I would say yes. It will be used to set aside um, this judgment. So, um, in as much as that penalty is still permitted under the Nigerian Constitution, you know, um, our courts in Okaru versus the state and Okoro versus state have held that that penalty is unconstitutional in Nigeria. But it's really appalling that Nigeria has continued to use that sentence in this 21st century. So, for this case. Um, our constitution provides for certain rights for accused persons. We have the right to fair hearing, right to adequate time and facilities to prepare for trial. We have the right to have a lawyer at trial. So the question is, was the accused person allowed to exercise these rights? You know, we all know that the right to fair hearing is so germane and failure to comply with that provision of the constitution will lead to a miscarriage of justice which must be overturned on appeal. So I strongly believe that this case will be overturned at, at, at the appeal level. You know, the right to life is the most fundamental human right and must be upheld by the citizens and the state. You know, it has no place in the 21st century, no place in the modern society. All right. You know, so the, the funny thing is that we've always seen the poor persons being sentenced to death. But what happens to the rich person? I've not seen any rich person on death row. How many rich persons have been sentenced of, or, or maybe convicted and sentenced to, to blasphemy? Sorry, sentenced to, to death. Um, death penalty. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. All right. Let, so let's I'm let's also then speak about um, Lead App, uh, um, where you work as a senior legal and uh, programs officer. Does legal uh, Lead App handle this type of cases? Um, I believe that um, your organization is against capital punishment. Um, what, what role can you play here? Okay, so um, 
leader proposes the use of death penalty in all circumstances, no matter the individual, no matter the offense. So leader offers pro bono legal services to indigent persons who actually want leader to represent them. So in this case, of course, leader is willing to do that if the accused person wants leader to, to represent them in court. But from, from our own view, we are the, we are the opinion that that penalty only applies to the economic disadvantaged persons in this country. You know, there is no persuasive evidence to actually show that death sentence deters people from committing crime. So the world is gradually abolishing the death penalty, or at least, you know, um, observing a, motor, um, a moratorium on it. All right. So Nigeria should join the trend by expunging death penalty from all its laws. Pamela Okoro Igwe, thank you so much, uh, Senior Legal and Program Officer with LEADAP. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, and uh, of course, I would definitely would love to speak with you again. All right, thank you so much for having me.